throughout this process of building a machine learning model, right. uh, you're going to need first to uh, collect the data. In order for you to collect the data, you might need to build devices that will collect the data. Devices could be anything from thermostat to uh, speedometers, or maybe uh, cameras. Mm. Uh, uh, and along with collecting the data, you're going to need some data engineers who will be able to build the software that will decode Makes the sense. data that you read it from the thermostat or the speedometer or the device or the camera. Right. You have to store them and move the data through the pipelines. Those are engineer, right? Like data engineer, uh, they will pretty much involve and, you know, transform the data or clean up the data, whatever. Mm -hmm. Yep. And there is a new field uh, mm -hmm. that emerged over the last few years that's called uh, uh, ML ops or machine learning ops. Uh, that's kind of synonym to the DevOps, uh, but that's a set of uh, machine learning, requires self machine learning skills or machine mm -hmm. learning engineers that build a set of software uh, that will start by collecting the data, processing it, uh, uh, automating the process of the model development and deployment, mm -hmm. uh, and then taking the output and store it somewhere else right so there are more there are more devops but maybe like specializing in this kind of machine learning uh, uh application right like or maybe the uh, uh back end you know uh they have mm -hmm. to kind of understand the machine learning domain in order to uh, to apply the right solution mm -hmm. uh, yeah they need Got to understand it. it to some extent and then uh uh, besides those, mach those machine learning engineers, you're going to need the uh, machine learning scientists or the data scientists. Mm -hmm. uh, so those are going to be the ones who will build the algorithms that will learn from the data that the machine learning engineers collected and processed. Got it. Uh, so machine learning engineers uh, typically have a background in computer science and software development. Uh, and maybe they took a few machine learning courses uh, to mm. help them understand uh, the theory uh, behind the machine learning models that the scientists are building. But right. they don't necessarily need to have any formal uh, mathematical or machine learning education. So it could Got be it. someone with a bachelor's degree and almost any field, someone who could just code. Right. The data scientists could also come from different backgrounds, uh, but they will benefit a lot uh, from a background in mathematics, statistics, or computer science. Uh, and those are going to be the ones who have the uh, strong mathematical foundations uh, to build the machine learning models. Makes sense. Because they were going to be the one to ask questions, right? Like have hypotheses or understand different models going on uh, uh, to kinds of, uh, you know, it's modeling exercise mm -hmm. so uh, the data scientists or the machine learning scientists uh, are going to be the ones who dictate what type of data that needs to be collected uh, they will set the standards for the data uh, that the machine learning engineers will collect uh, and will set some uh, quality requirements for it got it makes sense uh, and this right uh, is there any is there any kind of expert like a domain expert need to be part of the team because how, how because so far we have talked about mainly heavily about math you know computer science uh, I think that will be some collaboration or maybe some experts who have this domain knowledge right uh, so depending on the application you're correct uh, mm -hmm. you're going to need to have at least one uh, of the machine learning uh, science team members who is going to be a domain expert in the problem uh, space that you're solving. So mm. let's go back to the same example that I started with. <laughs> uh, let's say that you're building uh, an application to detect uh, uh, humans crossing the street for right. uh, safety reasons. Uh, well, this does not require a lot of domain knowledge because you need someone who can identify when a human crosses the street, uh, but you're going to need someone who has deep learning background. Uh, someone who can build a model using TensorFlow yep. or Forge, uh, someone who can uh, understand uh, image processing uh, besides having the knowledge or mathematical background knowledge to build uh, traditional machine learning uh, models. Yep. Uh, 
again is this deep learning uh, background. Right, right, right. Makes sense. So, uh, medical diagnosis system, you're going to need someone who has some um, uh, medical knowledge to be able to build a, say, a decision tree uh, that will hone in on a disease. That's true. Answer. Right. So there will be some kinds of a business related things that you will need a decision, you know, uh, people who can understand the business language, right? But you also mentioned about this very mm. deep, you know, different dimensions of the uh, domain knowledge that need to work together because uh, you won't able to get it until you have kinds of go through the training, you know, acquire that knowledge and have some kinds of practice experience. Mm -hmm.